anti-money laundering, AML. When you speak to most people about what they think of when you mention AML, people often say, ah, it's all about documents, it's all about ticking boxes or getting information. But actually, anti-money laundering is far more important than that, far bigger than that. Anti-money laundering is actually about stopping people being killed. It's about stopping people going into slavery. It's about stopping children being sexually exploited. Anti-money laundering is about fighting organized crime. And whatever your role is in anti-money laundering, that is in effect what you are doing. Organized crime is the biggest problem this world faces. Let me just give you an idea of size of organized crime. Organized crime, proceeds of organized crime, are in the region of $5.7 trillion. Now that probably sounds a lot, but what does it mean? Well, $5.7 trillion is bigger than the combined GDP of France and the UK. It's greater than the total value of US dollars in circulation in the world. And that number is growing rapidly. Organized crime is what AML is all about. What does organized crime do that should worry you? Well, organized crime carries out the worst things you can imagine. And that includes putting people into slavery. According to the Global Slavery Index, 40 million people in the world live under conditions of slavery. And that's not a made up type of slavery, that's real slavery. That's domestic slavery, industrial slavery, sexual slavery. And if you want to drill that down a little bit in the UK, that is estimated to be 135,000 people in this country living as slaves. Where are you most likely to come across slaves? Well, for example, in car washes, nail bars, um, many small shops, for example, will involve them, or small restaurants as well. Car washes, in fact, are such a problem that the National Crime Agency and the Church of England, which is not a combination you come across very often, have combined to put together a safe car wash app. And that's an application that you use when you go to a car wash. You put it on your phone. When you go to the car wash, you fire it up. It finds out where you are. It locates you, asks you a series of questions. And at the end of that, if there is enough concern, you will be asked to ring a number. Now, that app, in the first year of it being out in operation, led to the release of a thousand people who were currently living as slaves. Anti-money laundering, it's not about documents. Documents are important. Finding out about your customers, that's important. Understanding what they're doing, monitoring them, all those are important. But remember the reason why these things are important. It's fighting organized crime. It's keeping people alive. Organized crime is run by people who are as clever as you are, as smart as you are. They know how our systems work. They understand how we fight them. Organized crime is always ahead of the curve. And if you look at the current situation, coronavirus has opened opportunities for organized crime to exploit the problems we have. One example is using plenty of people at home as money mules. Organized crime is feeding off the growing economic, um, economic desperation that is arising because people are losing jobs or having to stay at home. And people are being contacted by companies that claim to be charities bringing together people who are benefactors and people who are victims of economic problems thanks to coronavirus. And they will ask you in that situation, would you like to work for us? We will pass the money from benefactors to you through your bank account if you would be kind enough to pass that on to victims. Now, of course, there are neither benefactors nor victims in this case, but they are using your bank account to launder their money. And on top of that, fraud is running rampant, people claiming to sell masks to people and not selling them. It just gets worse and it will get worse. So for all of those who are, of us who are on the front line for anti-money laundering, be aware 
As the economic situation gets worse, thanks to coronavirus, the temptations for people to be involved as money mules or as county lines people or any of these things, even things like uh, memes that are going out suggesting that um, cocaine is a cure for coronavirus. All these things will lead to a growing problem. So we who are fighting anti-money laundering, you, me and everybody else, need to be particularly alert over the next months. The situation is going to get worse. More people will be hurt. There will be more deaths. So it's not about documents. It's not about boxes. Remember, what you are doing in fighting money laundering is vital. It saves people. It saves lives. It keeps people free. Keep doing it. It's worth every minute of your time.